Okay. Oh! So close. Oh my god. Barney can just use his witchcraft to get it back, though, can he? Oh no, the next song I have to mute out again. Silly song? I cannot sing the song at all, so I'm gonna have trouble singing it. My aunt came back. I don't know the words of this song. I don't know what's first. A pair of shears. My aunt came back from Holland too, and brought me back a wooden shoe. My aunt came back from old Japan and brought me back a paper fan. My aunt came back from county fair and brought me back a rocking chair. Oh my god, I can't rock. Man came back. I don't know the words. And brought me back some bubble gum. Came back from city zoo. And brought me back some nuts like you. Uh, this is like the last uh, episode where I'll have to like mute out a song. Unless I'm reacting to, like, one later video, like, some, uh, uh Spanish Barty albums have songs taken straight from season 4, 5, and 6 episodes, so, yeah. Well, how'd you guys get here? Ugh. Stop singing. Just catch the wingster, for God's sakes. Uh, I just thought of like uh, when I said when I mentioned the metronome earlier and I remember this one Spongebob episode where Spongebob Patrick were like playing with the metronome they're like tick 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 it's such a weird episode, though. Ooh. Ooh. I completely forgot how to make a Quika sound. No! Let's stop playing. Yeah, it's dark. Time for bed. Oh no, they're gonna sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Yeah, this song was rarely ever used on the show. Well, it might have been used a lot in the later seasons, but it's rarely used on the show that much. To be honest, that's kind of strange. And they sing the Alphabet song way more times than this, to be honest. And to be honest, they sing the Alphabet song way more times than this. I mean, BJ did mention he was going to sing it backwards. This song, kids song's version of the song was better. If only I could react to that without getting a copyright strike. Oh my god, that video was so weird, to be honest. But whoa, this place is radical. Yeah, that apparently is now a meme, though. That kid saying, whoa, this place is radical. That's apparently a meme from the kids song's video. Uh, one of the videos, apparently. Yeah.
And there's this one part where this kid's like, but we already knew that. But yeah, apparently. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if the Biggles are a meme, though. I feel like they should be, like, some sort of meme where it talks about how everyone hates them so much. Whoa, this one Spongebob episode aired on my 10th birthday. It's the one episode where, like, uh, the overbooked episode and No Hat for Pat. No Hat for Pat episode was the one uh, where, like, Patrick, like, was wearing the hat and he, like, kept falling down. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that's nice, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Magic words if you want nice things to happen, they're the words that should be remembered, please, and thank you, cause they're the magic words. Please and thank you, they're the magic words. Please and thank you, they're called the magic words if you want nice things to happen, they're the words that should be heard. I was so, so freaked out when he started singing, when the Wigster starts singing the song. So yeah. Also, this is literally the same instrumental from season 3, does anyone notice that? I'm gonna have to stop this at this part, so I'll have enough time to talk about the last few parts of the video. The, the, the ending song and the... Uh, end credits. Maybe in the next part, BJ. <laughs> <laughs> 